So the first day I will show you how to install this iron stand. And one iron stand has three legs, one top, and three rubber sleeves. One one leg has two holes, and you can just put their put these holes into the holes, two holes, put two holes together, and then press it. Okay, one. And the second leg is the same way. Just put the put the holes into the holes. Okay, the last one. We finish, it's very easy to install it. Okay. And the last step is to use this rubber sleeve to cover this part. It will protect the iron stand and also keep it clean. Okay, we already installed the blue stand and we should put this side as the front side, two, two legs this part because it will be more easy to attach the paper on this two pole, this pole, and this side. Okay, for one stand, it has 10 sheets of wrapping paper to decorate the, these legs and the top. This is waterproof wrapping paper. We use about 8 sheets to 10 sheets of wrapping paper to decorate one stand. And we will use the tab, the small tab, to attach the paper on the stand, and you also need the scissor. Okay. This wrapping paper have two colors. One side is gold color, and another side is pink color. And because I will use the pink color bloom, so I will choose this side to show more pink color. And here we need to fold the paper like this way for this side. And here. And then use the small tab. If you prefer to use the zip tie, you can also change the tab to the zip tie. Here, yeah, get used to this tab. I will stick it on this part. And then stick on the, the stand, the top of the stand, this part. The first sheets of paper to decorate the front side and then decorate this left side. It's the same way for this and for another side. We need to fold four sheets of paper in this way and cover the legs. You just need four sheets of paper to cover the leg. It's all the paper is attached to this fold. Use the tab to attach stick it here and then attach it on the stand. Each paper should be closed so it will cover the legs. Make sure you close it. We attach, use the tab attach it on this part. Okay, we need to fold two sheets paper more. So it will cover all of the legs. Okay, we use four sheets paper to cover the leg. Four 
Put on eyewear. Use another way to fold this paper and then attach it on the top. Here, fold this side. Then use one hand to hold the middle part. This is middle part. Then use another hand to fold this paper, the front side, and fold back side, and the front side, and the back side. So for four times in this way, then we got, we got one more. We need to fold four sheets of paper in this way and then attach, attach it on this fold. One, two. This, this is the front side. We need to attach two sheets of paper on this fold and two sheets of paper on this. So total is four sheets of paper. Let's take some of the paper here and then attach on this fold. And then we can see that one hole we need to attach two, two sheets of paper. We stick it together. Can you see that? Attach it on this one. And after you attach it, we need to open, open it a bit. We use we use four sheets wrapping paper to cover the legs and four sheets wrapping paper to decorate this top. This this is what you lose. Total is eight sheets of paper, and we can add two sheets. Use two sheets of paper to make a butterfly to decorate this front side, and it also looks very good without the butterfly. And I will show you the back side. This is the back side. Because usually we put the stand against the wall or against the backdrop, um, we cannot see the back side, so we didn't use small paper to decorate this part. If you put it in a very big place and you can see all around this stand, then you can add two sheets of wrapping paper to decorate this part. Attach it on this pole. Okay. Okay. Let me show you how to fold the butterfly and the palm leaf. We use one paper and we start to fold it from the top. This small size. Only use one hand. Use one hand to hold this middle part and another hand we, we can tie this and fold it, fold it here. One hand hold this middle part, another hand to fold it. The back side is then. It's half of it. Can we finish? It's very easy. After we complete it, then we need to use the tab to attach it on this part. We need to fold two sheets of paper in this way. And then attach two together. Okay. Oh. 
always use one hand to hold this middle part and another hand to fold the paper and cut it. And then use the tab, this small tab. Tap here. Okay, for one for one leaf, we can cut it from the middle part. If you like to make another decoration like palm leaves. You can cut it here, use the tab, attach it, and then cut it here, then it's a leaf. You will got two leaves. Cut one piece leaves into two leaves. And another way we can use it to make a cute hairball. It's like a hairball kind of decoration. Then fold, fold it in this way. And this side is gold color. For the butterfly, we can just attach to Attach two pieces together. Use the tab to tie it together. Okay. So here I'm gonna show you how to uh, attach the butterfly on the stand. I cut the piece of tab and then stick it here. Use this side to stick it on the table. So you will hand her handy. Okay. Just use the tap sticky on the, the paper, the back side of the This is the butterfly. If, if you don't like the butterfly, you can remove it, just keep there another way. Okay. This is flower form. It's 80 cm, just the size before the stem. And here we need to use a waterproof table to cover it to keep it clean. And especially when you want to make the fresh flowers, then you will, the flower form is wet. So you should use some waterproof paper to cover cover it. Then it will not make the stem wet because the stem is iron stem, not stainless steel. We cover, cover it, and then put it on the top of the stand. This, uh, you should use something to tidy on the stand. Here I, I like to use the tap to tidy on the stand. And you can also use the ribbon or the big zip tie. Is stable now. Okay. That's it. Here I use the pink color bloom and one bloom and the stick holder, the plastic stick holder to hold the bloom. We start to have the bloom on the back side. This one. One on the back side and one for the front side. For the front side, uh, we can cut the seat holder shorter 
can be shorter, so it will be more easy to insert uh, the blow on this, the edge of the form. Yes. And left side and right side, one for each side. This is the first step to add the blue. We set cut in this way. Use four blooms to make a shape and then fill more blooms on this beside the four blooms. We use 10 and 5 inch blooms and for, five, for 10 inch bloom we can inflect it to about 5 to 7 inch for this diameter. And it also depends on the space that you left for you. And you can check the size and the space. Like this part, if it's just fit for two, then you can inflate it bigger. Yeah. And now we need to add, the, add more balloons beside these four balloons. One of these. Like okay, this one, this balloon is small one, and if we, we put it here, then it's, it's too small. So we should change, change use a bigger one. Yeah, this one is just the size. You can put it here. Side, the stick holder should be shorter. You can cut it or use the one. I have pre pound this room. Okay, let me show you this top. Now, the first day is useful four blooms, and then fill more blooms beside this four, make the make a shape like this one, and and then we will fill more blooms in the middle part. Now I will add more blooms on the middle part. This one is five five inch blue. Let's check this space. Okay. 
Okay, we will use a 5 inch broom to fill this part. So now we already use about 22 pieces of blooms. Um, this one is double bloom. One, one pink color bloom and one bobo bloom. You just put the pink color bloom into the bobo bloom. This bobo bloom make it very shine. And this one is double bloom, pure white and uh, pink color. So when you use double bloom, it will last for a long time and keep it this keep it very beautiful for a long time. And after we add this balloon, we can adjust the some balloons. If this if this shape is not not very good, then we can adjust it or change the balloon. But this one, if the this one is has too space, too much space on this part, we can use the artificial flower. Add the artificial flower on this part or change this balloon. Use a bigger balloon to decorate on here. So next day, I will use the artificial leaves. This is gold color artificial leaves. And it's plastic material with the iron wire. Because this iron wire, it will pop the bloom. So we use the stick to cover it. And we can put it here. If you prefer to use the flower, can use the artificial flower to fill some space of it. You yeah, add one piece on this part. Okay, and then one one piece on this this side. Just find a good place to put this artificial flower or leaves. Okay. Okay, then we we assemble this whole set of blooms then. For this uh, artificial leaves, if you don't have this, you can use some fresh flower or the artificial flower to decorate it. And I want to show you the back side. This is the back side. If you put it in a very big place, you, you can see the front side and the back side, and then you should add more blooms on this part. Just make it look like the front side. And you can also add two sheets of paper to here, and add a butterfly, stick a butterfly on this part. So the front side and the back side will be the same. Okay, here I have some tips for you. Um, if you put it in for outside event, for outside event, we can tie a water bloom. Tie a water bloom on the stand, it will be more stable. If the wind is very strong, we can tie a water bloom or tie some heavy things on the stand. To make sure that it will not fall off. And the second tip is the wrapping paper color and the bloom color should be close, should be matched. The bloom color should be matched the, the wrapping paper color. Then now you know all the process to assemble this blue stand. So you can change, uh, change this blue and the wrapping paper color and make different kind of blue stand. And for the wedding, you can assemble the fresh flower stand. Just use the same way to fold the wrapping paper and then attach it on the stand. Just change the blooms. You can use only fresh flower. It's also amazing. Um, another way is to mix the fresh flower and the blooms together. That's also nice. Um, there's uh, another tip that is we can recycle this wrapping paper. This wrapping paper is waterproof and we can reuse it for several times. After the party, we can fold it wear and keep it. And also the stick holder and the flower phone. I use the flower phone for three or four times and the stick holder, we can also keep it. So this artificial leaves is also a nice decoration. Um, after the party, we can just put it in a vase as a decoration for, for the house. Okay, here I will compare two, two kinds of balloon stand. We use the same uh, 
the same iron stem, and this one 10 sheets of wrapping paper, and this stem only 8 sheets of wrapping paper because I didn't add the butterfly on this part. And the top, the top we didn't use the, can see, we didn't use the flower form and also not stick holder. So this one will be much more easier to assemble this. No flower form, no stick holder, just one big 36 inch bloom to decorate the top. This is double bloom, 36 inch bloom. And for that one, we need about 20. This is 10 inch, 10 inch and 5 inch bloom. Here I'll show you. Uh, we should use 260 bloom to tie 36 inch bloom. Use tidy. And then we, we put it on the top. Use 260 bloom to tie, tie it on the stem on this part. So when you put it outside, if the wind is very strong, the bloom will not fly away. So tie it here. It's stable and safe. That's a very easy way to make a bloom stem. And for this one, we can also make a gender review. Gender review bloom stem. Just change the gold color bloom to the gender review black color bloom and double it with this bubble bloom. So you can pop this, pop the black color bloom and keep this uh, keep this bubble bloom. Another another way to use this bloom stem. Okay, here we have another way to use this iron stem, this tight one iron stem. And um, we can just put the tabletop here. There is a side table or there's a table. So just put it in the living room and you can add some decoration. Put the decoration here. It's very nice, beautiful. So after after the party, just put this tabletop and use it in another way. This tabletop is 40 centimeters. You can also search it on my website, tabletop. And here we use uh, some dog glue. This is dog glue. Um, add some dog glue on the stand, put it on the stand. Uh, so when you when you put the tabletop here, then it will be more safe when it will not move the top. Use this dog glue to stick it on the stand. Be more safe. Okay. This is tie two iron stand. The top is different from type one. And this hole is smaller. And I'm gonna show you how to attach this people on the stand. Just quick review. And just this side is the front side. And oh, this hole this one. Other side and attach this is the wrong side. Attach, use the tab to attach the paper on this this pole. It's the it's the same way. Always attach the paper on the top of it. So use four sheets paper to cover cover the legs. And for the top, for this top. This top is a little different, so we, we will attach four paper in another way and then attach it on this part. Attach it on this part or, or in the middle of in the middle of the these two poles. Attach two pieces two pieces of paper, this part and this part, or middle part. So this is the front side. Two sheets of paper to attach on this part and two sheets of paper to attach it on this these two poles. So this that's the way we attach the paper for tie to stand. So this is all the detail and after you watch the videos, if you have any other questions, please feel free to contact me and send me a message by email or WhatsApp. So thank you, thanks for ordering the bloom stand from our website.